A long time ago, I created a video about how to discipline your child without yelling or hitting. And I got some great feedback from that video. So I decided to do a series about that topic. If you haven't watched the first video, make sure after you get done with this video that you go back and watch part one. If you are a mom with young kids, make sure you stick around and watch the full video because in this video, I'm going to be talking about the importance of treating your child the way that you want to be treated. I'm a wife, my husband and I, we have been married for 29 and a half years. I'm a mom and also a stepmom. My husband and I, we have nine kids together, so we have a huge family. One thing that I am proud of, and that's I was able to raise my children without having to yell or spank and to get them to listen to me or to get their attention. One of the key things that I have learned in my life is that the importance of treating people the way that I want to be treated. What I put out, I receive back in my life. And a lot of parents don't realize that is the key to raising children, to treat them the way that you want to be treated. If you treat your child the way that you want to be treated, when they become adults, they won't have so many different issues or mental stuff going on in their life because of something that happened in their childhood or because of something that their parents have said or have done. So if you just go by that one basic rule with your child, you will get that same treatment back. Give your child respect. Even when you've given them an order, something that you want them to do, for example, if you want them to clean up their room or to put something up or to go and get you something, instead of saying, clean up your room, you know, talk to them the same way that you would want your boss to talk to you. You know, think about it. If you're at work and your supervisor will give you a list of things that he or she want you to do. How do you want them to talk to you? Do you want them to force it on you? Or do you want them to tell you in a way not so forceful, not to try to throw their weight around, but to tell you in a respectable way when someone is giving you an order or something that they want you to do. And when they ask you or give you directions of what they want you to do in the right way, it make you want to do it. That's the same way with your child. When you're giving your child directions or orders, you don't have to be so forceful with it. I would even say, like, even when it comes to an example of your child cleaning up their room, it's okay to help them sometime. And the reason why I think it's good to help them you're not trying to make it hard on them and that you are there to help them. One of the main things that I have learned with raising children is that when you are disciplining your child or correcting your child to show them love, don't lose your character. When you are out of character, that means that you're out of control. What have helped me to be a good mom with my children and to raise them in the right way is that I go by how the way that I feel. If something don't feel right, when I'm interacting with my children, I correct that behavior. I don't do that same tactic. I have learned over the years, it's more like don't raise your children like someone else is raising them, but you do what you feel that's best, what you feel that's right for your children. For example, I was talking to my oldest biological daughter the other day, and I was telling her how that, I think what helped me to be a good mom and to raise my children differently is that I went by my instinct. If something didn't feel right, I didn't do just because everyone else that I hung around spanked their kids. I didn't spank mine because it just didn't feel right for me. You shouldn't have to spank your child to get them to do what you want them to do. It's very simple, but it worked for me. 
I treated my kids with respect. They gave me respect. My stepchildren gave me respect. People as a whole give me respect. And I know it's not because I'm so good. It all have to do with me treating them the way that I want to be treated, me putting out what I want to receive. So the main thing that I want you to get from this video is that your child is a human being the same way you want love and respect. Your child want that from you as well. And not only that, your child will gain more self-esteem and also confidence when you treat them the right way, treat them with respect. It builds them up. It builds up their character in the way that they feel about yourself. When you give your child love and respect, it will change their behavior towards you and also others. I have a question for you. Do you think it's important to respect your child? If you enjoyed this video and you like my message, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell. That way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. If there is a particular topic that you want me to talk more about, or if you have a question that you need to ask me, you can email me at chatswithflow at gmail.com. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.